Hello there, and welcome to the War Factory for today, April 20th. That's right. It is the 420 of 2016, and I am bringing to you exactly what you want for your 420 celebration. Math. That's right, I said it. I am bringing to you all of the math, and trust me, the math is fantastic. So, just to give you uh, a bit of, a, I guess, a background check on what I'm talking about in case you're out there and you're watching this and you're being like, WTF? Uh... On the forums, there is a thread that is incredibly entertaining with people all over the place about how Battle Orders works, how much damage Battle Orders increases, how this, how that, this, that, blah, 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 blah. So I decided that, you know, I would take a couple of minutes to step right back. Wait, no, I know where this is going. I've done this before. Something about Bel Air. Um, and, and, and just break it down really old school. Or maybe new school, lazy school, whatever. It's some sort of school. Um, and I dropped, as you could see, a bunch of GBE to take out, a rocket launcher and some stuff. But, more importantly, I did this attack with one boatload of Zookas. So that is 13 Zookas on my max landing crafts. And if we are to believe the armory, each of my Zookas does 1,076 damage per shot. This is not per second, but per shot. Plus 559.52 damage per shot giving each Zooka in my boat a total of 1635 damage 0.52 but we're 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 going to just leave off the decimal places because ain't nobody need got time for that so 13 Zookas doing 1635 should do a grand total of 21261 damage and i know what you're saying but beard how much health do the boxes have? Well, as you can tell, the dog is really curious too. The answer is the boxes have 21,660 hit points. So, grand total, there, they, I should just be able to squeak in on a box. You can see the box is almost dead. We're going to get to exact numbers in a very short moment. <clears throat> but you can see, by kicking off the battle orders and shocking Brick, before Brick is able to join in and shoot at the box, one attack, one salvo, one round of Zooka attacks from, again, 13 Zookas in a full boat, just obliterates a box. So we know there is definitely a damage increase. Now, here's where things start getting really, really interesting. Because, on the first attack against that box, my Zookas did 17,990 damage. I know, I know. You're sitting there and you're saying, but Beard, you just did all kinds of 420 math, and you told us that it was 21,261 damage, now you're telling us your Zookas did 17,990? What the? Well, you're 100% you're, you're correct and on the ball. Good job, guys. Um, now, I, I, I did a little kajiggering with the numbers to kind of try and figure out what was going on. And 17,990 is the exact amount of damage 11 of my Zookas should be doing. So, I'm not 100% if, for some reason, two of my Zookas didn't fire. Even though they were all flared and waiting under the same smoke and should have had the exact same firing time, etc, etc. Or, the possibility that the armory is posting in accurate numbers. Um, I, I can't really speak to either. Those are my two theories. Either two of my Zookas didn't fire, either because of the smoke disappearing, or my second smoke landing on them. Maybe two didn't fire off properly, which is weird, because they should all be firing together. Or 
the armory is lying to us. Um, either either way, don't know. I'm not going to judge. Not my place. I'm not worried about that right now. What I am worried about is the amount of damage that I did to the flamethrower on my third attack. Because obviously the second attack, we can't really figure out how much damage I did because it was greater than the threshold of the building. So, on my third attack against the flamethrower... I did 23,991 damage with battle orders in one hit. One salvo, one round, whatever you want to call it. Each Zuka only got to fire once and then had to run away. Now, the damage difference between the 17,000 and the 23,000 is roughly 6k. It's 59,29. So... My, my unbattle orders Zookas did 3,271 damage less than they should have, which is 84%. And again, like I say, works out to roughly missing out on two Zookas. Or is being misled, whatever. Either way, so I decided I'm going to do the math both ways. So if my Zookas actually do 21,261... And I kick off battle orders, and I do 23-9-1-9. My battle orders did 112% damage, which means I got a 12% boost in my damage. But my level 3 battle orders should be giving me a 19% boost, which means... Once again, something is not adding up here. The math just is not right. So, if we do the math from the 17,990, which is the amount of damage that I did without battle orders, I get a 32% damage increase. Again, way off from my 19% that I should be getting. Um... And, and actually even more so, like, that's a 13% difference versus a 7% difference, so, like, that one's even further out of whack. Now, is it possible that 12% of my battle orders I am receiving through raw damage increase and the other 7% is some kind of speed boost? I guess, in theory, that is possible, but I'm, I'm not going to... You know, speculate on that. I'm not gonna try replicating or, 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 you know, sorting that out. Unfortunately, obviously, uh, as you are watching Task Force attacks at this point, because I ran out of War Factory, because, uh, well, you know, War Factory tends to go down quick. Like, um, the the, yeah, the the numbers are just they're too weird. Something somewhere is lying to us. Either all of the Zookas don't fire all the time, which I find incredibly weird, but I guess in theory possible, or Battle Orders isn't boosting damage as much as is posted in the tooltip, or Zookas don't do as much damage as posted in the Armory tooltip, or maybe... The reason that I only got a 12% damage boost is because some of the Zookas didn't fire again when I did my Battle Orders attack, and just, it throws everything all out of whack. So, I guess what we can come down to as a conclusion is that, the, that this truly is a 420 subject to be talking about, because... It's all over the joint, pardon the pun, maybe not. <laughs> uh, it's all over the place. Like, it, the, none of the numbers add up, none of it makes sense, all of it's a little bit crazy. And unfortunately, even though I, I did three extra GBE attacks that didn't need to happen, I still kind of feel like we're no closer to an actual, honest, real answer. Hopefully someone else out there doing their their attacks on the War Factory is able to get some video or some uh, screenshots or something showing maybe different numbers, showing what's going on. Hopefully 
we can get to the bottom of this one way or the other. But uh, thanks very much, guys, for watching. Hopefully this has been helpful. Hopefully it's been entertaining. And most importantly, hopefully you guys have a fantastic day.